Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. I'm putting together my travel art supply kit. Uh, I am traveling in a couple of weeks. I'm going to Europe for about five weeks. Uh, and I do this every time I travel. I take with me my essentials. And it's basically a bit of a work in progress year on year. So every year I see what works for me and what doesn't. And I adapt my kit accordingly. So I just thought it might be beneficial to take you through what I'm taking with me this year. I uh, Just keeping in mind that if there's something missing here, I'll probably just buy it overseas. Um, but just to start, um, I've got my journal. So this isn't necessarily just for sketching. Uh, I actually do a lot of writing in here. And um, I've already finished the previous one. This is my latest one, which I started early in the year during... Um, my New Zealand trip. So this is great for when you just want to uh, take some notes, but then maybe stick in a sketch or something along the way. Now, the sketchbook isn't great for water media, like watercolor, as you can see, it beads a bit, but it's really good for graphite sketches. Uh, so this will go with me most likely everywhere, mainly because it is a journal. But I have been out um, looking for the perfect sketchbook and I believe, I don't really think one exists that's, you know, reasonably priced. So what I decided to do is create my own. Now, this is perfect. Um, this is a paper saver book, which I found at Parker's in Sydney. Now what it is, is it's just this cover um, with a metal holder in the middle and what you do is you cut whatever paper you prefer to size and just insert it in. Um, so what I have here is a mixture of cold press and hot press paper. Um, they vary from Canson Heritage, that's Canson Heritage there, to Arches, to Saunders Waterford. So any paper I had lying around I basically just cut it to size, stuck it in here and I'm going to try it out for the first time on this trip. Now, I did do a bit of a swatch of my travel palette, and this is what you can see here. And I did do some sketching just to practice because I predominantly use hot press paper, so cold press is a bit new to me. Uh, so that's what these are. But uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it now, and I really look forward to using it and see how it goes. It is rather bulky just because I've used 300 GSM paper but you know I could easily just take out half and stick in something thinner if I choose so that's going to be my travel sketchbook with regards to paint I'm taking a couple of palettes so this is my main palette it's just a no brand palette empty palette that I bought off eBay which I filled with my own paint uh, I'll just show you what they look like and you've seen the swatches already uh, so it's a pretty decent uh, selection of colors which has evolved year on year as I've traveled and and you know used some colors didn't use other colors I've basically adapted this to suit my needs uh, so we'll see how it goes this year. I've got quite a few new colors here that I want to test out. So I will see what ends up staying around and what ends up needing replacement. Now, it's not really large, but you know, I guess if I'm taking a tiny little bag uh, or handbag, this may not fit. In which case I have this tiny little palette that I've created myself from a Muji card holder. Uh, and just some uh, makeup, empty makeup palette, or eyeshadow palette. Uh, I think you can, I think there's somebody who makes these that you can buy yourself, but I just decided to make my own because I already had all these materials. Uh, so these are the Turner colors that I've reviewed before on this channel, um, plus a couple of Sennelier and perhaps a Daniel Smith here and there. And this is the absolutely minimal muted colors. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to take it as it is or if I do want to add a really bright yellow in there Maybe a bright red. So I'm not too sure yet. I still have a couple of weeks to decide and With regards to brushes, I've got this travel kit So these are called Midas touch uh, And they come in three different 
pipes, round, flat, and filbert. Now they are larger than what I usually use in the studio in terms of uh, the size of the brush, but uh, they're really good for traveling. And so I highly recommend that you get something like this if you are, you know, taking your watercolor sets with you. Um, alternatively, I've got just a water brush. Uh, I figure in some cases, I'll probably just end up with these two and my journal. Now, for pencils, I'm only taking a 0.9 Stedler mechanical pencil. Uh, one of my watercolors here is actually graphite. So instead of taking a water soluble graphite pencil, I've decided to just opt for the paint. Um, and pens, I've got a pen for writing and then a black liner here, which is water resistance, Stedler pigment liner. And this is a preppy fountain pen. Now this has black ink in it at the moment, but I will replace the ink with uh, waterproof brown ink. So I've got the converter here just for that reason. Uh, and so I will be able to ink out my lines in brown, which I prefer over black, and then just do some watercolor washes on top. And other than that, it's just basically this putty eraser and that's about it. So I figure that if there's anything I need or anything I forget, I can just buy over there. I'll be landing in London first and it's not going to be very difficult for me to track down an art store and purchase anything that I feel I'm missing. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of my materials, let me know. Um, I will just let you know where I bought them from if you want to know. Um, yep, yeah. so thanks for joining me and I will chat with you again later.